No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. Okay, so now we're going to do the run data tab. And, you know, nobody really looks at this stuff up here in the weather and snow and temperature at the start and temperature at the finish, but we're going to fill it in anyways. Um, so we're going to do this sort of the night before and sort of hope for the best. So weather, you can just put in whatever you want. Um, partly cloudy is always a, a good one. Snow, uh, put natural and put firm sounds good now temperature at the start now this confused me for a little bit but temperature at the start does not mean where the racers start the race it means at the start of the day what was the temperature at the start of the day so it's probably going to be pretty cold and now this is degrees celsius so we will say at the start of the day it was negative 12 degrees Celsius. Now temperature at the finish, that's going to be the temperature at the finish of the race. So in the afternoon, say two in the afternoon when we finished up, say it was negative five degrees Celsius. So when we got off to start racing at, at 9.30 in the morning, it was negative 12 Celsius out there. And when we got done at, neg at two in the afternoon, it got down, it was a negative five Celsius. So I can, I can sort of, I'm gonna forget to do this if I don't sort of do it ahead of time. So I just look at the weather report and I make some educated guesses and people just wanna know in general, um, you don't have to get it down to a 10th of a degree. You don't have to be super accurate. Just have a general idea about what the weather was like. Um, start time, my start time for the men well let's let's um let's build this backwards so let's flip over to the women right so now we're on to the women's side of things and i can do pull my drop down box partly cloudy snow was firm and started off at negative 12 and negative 5. now i'm going to start my women at 9 30. okay and who are my gatekeepers? Well, my gatekeepers, these guys are not going to come up in the competitors list. So you can basically come up with anything that you want. So I'm going to come up with my um, gatekeepers are going to be Patrick, or I'm sorry, my forerunners, not gatekeepers. My forerunners are going to be Patrick Duran and... Um, and then we're also going to have um, Brandon Dykster House. And then we're going to have Lindsay Mann. And then we're going to have Rusty Heisey. And they're going to do both sides of that. So... Okay, now I'm not going to do number of gates and number of direction changes just yet because I'm setting this up at the beginning of the race and so I don't really know what's going to happen. So, I, so I'm doing this the night before. Now I'm going to, my schedule says that they're going to start the second run at 1230. So this is everything that I can do the night before the race. I have a fair idea about what the weather is going to do. I know what the first run start time is going to be scheduled for. I know what the second run start time is going to be scheduled for. I know who my uh, forerunners are scheduled to be. And then number of gates and number of direction changes, we're going to have to wait for the set. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to fill in 
We're going to have the same four runners for the men and women. Same over here. Okay, so now I had 40 women in the race and I, I'm planning on running um, it's probably going to take about 45 seconds per competitor. So about a 30 second start interval plus 15 seconds of sort of time for adjusting things and and just sort of fudge factor. So um, three quarters of a minute per competitor for 40 competitors, that should be half an hour. So I should be hopefully expecting my men to go half an hour after the women, which would be 10 a.m. And I should be expecting the second run to go off at 1 p.m. And again, I'm going to need uh, gates and direction changes once that information has been acquired because once they've set the courses.